today I'm unboxing a padlock. So this is quite a different sort of padlock. It's one that actually allows you to unlock via a fingerprint. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. A black box, nothing else on there. Let's open it up. Okay, we've got some instructions here. QR code for Android and iOS. Instructions look pretty basic and all in English, which is great. Okay, the actual padlock itself. Got a charge cable, obviously it needs power and I guess some serial number details there for the actual padlock itself. So in terms of size, the actual padlock is approximately eight centimeters in height, width is, or depth, just over two. And the actual locking side of it is around three centimeters high. So from there to there. Build quality looks quite good, quite solid. Solid metal on there. You've got a USB point there. If I pull that off, the charge plug can go straight in there to charge it up. So it looks good so far. Okay, so let's have a go at actually setting up this padlock. So I've got my Android device here and my QR reader. How easy. And if I flick over the instructions, there's a QR code there. Give it a moment to focus. Picked it up. Click on that. That's the app. All the details seem to be in Chinese. Let's download. Okay, so the app was gonna install directly off a website, so best to probably install directly from the Play Store. So it is available from the Play Store if I search for that one, knock your lock, click on there, and just click install. Okay, it's installed, let's click open. Needs access to this location. I don't know why it needs access to media. Record, take video. Bit excessive permissions. Okay, so scan to bind a lock. So unlock by QR code or Bluetooth broadcast and binding is available. Okay. Smart lock management toolbox. Unlock. Um, Noki lock is your first choice. Okay. Discovery friends updates start to use. Okay, so need to register an account. Let me do that in the background off camera. Okay, so I've registered my account and this is a dialogue I'm presented with. So let's click add lock. And it's asking for a QR code. So this is the QR code that was in the box it's on this slip here. Let me do that off camera. Okay, it's added uh, the lock now, and we just need to give it a name. So I can just type in lock and confirm that. There you go, bind successful. Okay, so now we see the lock just here. And if I click on there, you can see it. So if I click unlock now, the way it's connected is via Bluetooth, so it does turn off, so it's in the off position at the moment. So if I just activate it, so it powers up and click it again. Give it a minute. There you go. So it connects via Bluetooth and then it unlocks it. It's pretty nice, you know, managing to remotely unlock it. Next thing, fingerprint settings. So register a fingerprint. I've already tested this one. Press the finger. So very simple to do. Let's do this one. Press the finger again. 
press the finger and press the finger and press the finger and press the finger again. Regis successful. Okay. If we go back, so I should be able to just go up to it and go. There you go. Un unlocked. And if I close it again, got it registered on this finger as well. Simple as that. Okay, the other thing to show on the app, usage records. So if I click on that, there's the usage of the actual lock. You can see when it's been actually used. If I go back, authorization. And we've got settings over here. Let's click on there. Share, unbind, change, remark, name, and cancel. So very simple product here. Nothing too complex about it. Get the app, install the app, and then obviously get it linking via Bluetooth to the actual lock. And then you can remotely unlock it, which is quite cool. You can register multiple fingerprints on there to enable you to just walk up to it and unlock it. Now, let's try uh, turning off Bluetooth. And now it shouldn't be connected. Let's then lock it. And now try it. There you go. So no need for the app. You can get the app set up just to register the fingerprints and then as simple as that to unlock. Okay, so you've seen this fingerprint padlock unboxed. You've seen how to set it up and configure. You've seen it in action, how easy it is, obviously to grab it, put your finger over it and it unlocks. You can actually record 15 different fingerprints on there. So quite useful, whole family and even friends can be added on there. So say you had some outdoor equipment, uh, perhaps around the back of your house and someone could just easily come around and collect it if they want. They could just get, get to the lock, unlock it, obviously do what they need and then just lock it again. And obviously you've got the report that comes on the actual app showing the usage so you know when it's actually been opened and closed, which is quite useful really because if you had one, for example, that had one of those... Um, uh, numbers where you just put in the uh, the code and then it unlocks you have no record of how many times it's been opened so this is quite good in that effect now one of the things to note when I did install the app for the device I got a warning saying uh, there's a potential risk of um, spyware from the app so I did reach out to the manufacturer just asking uh, what their views on this were and they sort of reassured me in saying, because it's connecting to a server in China, that's why you're probably getting that sort of warning on there. So there's no risk, supposedly, of any sort of spyware. But if you do feel unsafe having the app on there, what you could do, you could just get the product, obviously program it with all the fingerprints, and then just uninstall the app. You don't have to have it on your phone for it to work. So at the moment, it's uninstalled from my phone. And just to show, there's no reliance on there. So obviously the app is just there to program in your fingerprint. So no, no big deal really. And again, if it does run out of power and it stops working, just get a power bank uh, or just plug it into the mains here and it will just charge it up again. So there Okay, so there you go. A really cool product and something out of the norm really. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.